What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having an awesome day today. So check this out. So today guys, I'm just about to pull off everything off the bay and pretty much get the bay ready to be sanded down and clean uh, just to reapply this paint. Um, last time I did this, I did a half of it with the paint gun, um, but I, I broke the paint gun uh, pretty much when I got to like right here. Um, you can see where it was laying down pretty good at right about there. It started laying down really good and then it just started caking up and then it pretty much just broke on me. There are some spots where it laid down pretty nice. But this time when I do it, I just have to go get an air compressor for this. Um, it says I can't use a 5 gallon air compressor which is what I was going to get. So I have to get like a 10 gallon air compressor to even use that. So that's why I haven't used it yet but I have it and I haven't figured what to do with this waterfall right here. When I, I don't think it will be complicated to do is just this one garment right here and follow these wires right here it goes to the uh, to the ECU I probably have to move the ECU to the inside of the car and I really don't want to extend any wires and then there's this plug right here and then the waterfall the waterfall takes a, a split right there I'm just about to start removing out this harness. I'll just start here. We'll just start there. If plug. All right, let me pull that plug out. All right, that's part of that. And this is one of the main plugs. This is the main engine plug. Alright, so main engine plug, I know that, this, this is the main engine plug, this goes to the, all the main engine components, and then there is this one, alright, so that's that one, and it is going to be tied down to some box that's in here, okay. See if we can break the box off. Pull the box broke off. And okay, so that one goes into the engine bay. No, I'm sorry, that goes into the cabin. Okay, so let's just work at getting this one and all of, I think this is O2 sensor and they all are grounded. So let's find a way to get the grounds off. Don't you ever do that, don't bet you with one hand. I remember grandma told me not to do that. Yeah, I listen, but I did it, I was too bad. Alright, so now we got all of that wire is out right there, and then we just got them hanging down here. Now we gotta get inside of this box right here. There. The rest of these wires are connected to like this block that's right here that we need to take out. So let's see if we can get this out. I think it's just two screws that hold it in. One right there, you guys can't really see it. And then another on that side over there. It's like right there. Yeah, see what I mean? That's the box right there. And then all of these plugs right here, pretty much are color coded right there into that box right there so now I need to get that bottom box down so I can push all of these wires through there one more garment and that is that one right there so we just gotta pull um, the wires back through that side and I think we did it take all of those wires right there and pull them back through the frame 
and then that is just all of the um, main ECU wires the ones that plug into the ECU and then we have this bundle up here which is pretty much the fuel rail stuff uh, but the, all of this stuff is coming back to go to the engine. This is all the engine component stuff. So I got that hole open there and then I have that hole open there to pull all the wires back through and then we have to see how we're going to wire all of this stuff on the inside of the frame. Okay, so I pretty much broke uh, the harness down. So I'm left with this um, this piece right here. This is pretty much the main harness for pretty much like this side of the car. So all of this right here and the rest of this right this side, which none of this, okay. This bundle right here is all of uh, the first bundle that was not needed, except for the last three right here, which are the fans and the temp sensor. So all of these needs to come back out to the front. This plugs in. This plugs in the engine. This plugs the engine harness into the main harness, which is this harness right here. So I got to push all of this back through that hole and through the car, so it can now come out like the right way. Well, not the right way, but the new way. All of this harness right here is pretty much the engine harness. All of this harness right here goes to the engine of the car. Other than that, we're breaking it down. Now, I got all of the wires back through, so no more wires on this side. So now I just need to pull that bundle of wires, all of these wires right here. This was all the waterfall and what divided between this and the waterfall. So now I need to pull all of that back through this top garment or this top hole right here. And then we're just probably going to let it fall down that way. I don't know yet. But maybe I can use that hole right there and then go down to the side from the bottom. I don't know. But that is what we're about to do right now. So there we have it. The hard part is over with. We got the harness out of both grommets, hold both holes, and pushed back through. So harness is out of the car. So. I really want to do an ABS delete. I found the kit, but I don't really know much about doing the ABS delete. Um, from my understanding, I, I feel like it's just uh, running all new brake lines because all these brake lines go to this. So it's just like running four new brake lines from each brake up to um, the brake thingamajiggy. And you need a new one of these that holds four, not two, because each one of the lines has to go to this now. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll do some re more research on that and figure out how to do that. But if I do that, I get rid of the ABS and move these fuel lines, I'll pretty much have an empty bay. I'll pretty much have an empty bay, but I just got to figure out this ABS. This ABS is probably the toughest thing right now, which may be the simplest thing. But I think uh, that might be it for today, guys. Got to start taking care of the kids now. So I know. Catch you guys in the next video. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. You guys have an awesome day. Yes, guys.